Hey, do you ever hear these same problems that I hear? Hey, my goggle takes forever to boot up. I'm the last guy. Everybody's waiting on me. Or I forgot to stop recording and now my file's corrupted. Well, I'm going to show you the settings that I use to make those problems go away. And I think that you'll really enjoy my settings versus what we have as default. Hey everybody, real quick video here today. I'm gonna to go over the settings that I use personally on my HD Zero goggles, both the goggle V1, V2, and the Box Pro goggle. So these are the settings that I use to make my life a lot easier. And I sort of wish they were the defaults, but I understand why we had the defaults the way we do. So let's get into this. Okay, so we'll go down to the on-screen display section. And in here, I like to set the OSD mode to 16 by nine so that it pushes the elements off the screen so I don't see them on my video. And then I do adjust the OSD elements a bit. Here, I'll, I'll boot in and we'll look at it. So I like to put the antenna bars and stuff like that off to the right so that, again, they're not in my face. You just do that by picking the element that you want and then um, we'll go down to antenna one, and then you can just move the position X and Y, and then save. Next, I go into power, and I run one of these lithium ion batteries, which can go down to easily three volts per cell. So the default on this is gonna be like three and a half, and then that's gonna trigger the uh, low voltage alarm early. So I jump this down to 3.1 volt, and we'll go back here. Record option. Here I set it to manual because I actually use ExpressLRS Backpack to start and stop recording. And I set my record format to MP4 so it's more compatible with my video editor. And then I go down to audio source and I set it to line in because I have a microphone line in jack here for better audio quality. Now in auto scan, I set it to last and I set the default here to last. So that's really important. What's going to happen there is my goggle is automatically going to boot into the last source that I had, whether that be analog or HD0 or HDMI, and it won't go to the scan menu on boot up. So that saves me a lot of time. I can just flick a switch and then the goggle will be booted up in 15 seconds and on the video source. So if you take one thing away from this video, that'll be the one I would recommend changing. So for ELRS, we're gonna go and set it to on for backpack. That lets us start and stop the recording automatically and change channels and so on. Wi-Fi module, I usually leave it off if I'm not using it. And I actually do recommend if you are gonna use it to change the SSID from HD0 to something else so that people don't automatically connect. Another thing I will point out in here is if we go to advanced, changing the RF channel to not 11 could be beneficial to you, again, to be on a different channel than everyone else. So just experiment with that. Head tracker. So I usually keep this off when I'm not using it, but when I do use it, I turn it on. In storage, make sure logging is turned off uh, unless you explicitly need it. Now for input, this is where it gets really interesting and where I've made some of the biggest changes. I go down to my right sh short here and leave it as toggle DVR, and then right long, I change to be a toggle source. So this will automatically switch me between analog and HD0, HD0 and analog. You can also do cycle source and then it'll go through and, and get HDMI also. And then on right double, I like to change that to the go sleep option. So that's going to save me a ton of battery life because then I can put the goggle to sleep with a double tap and then wake it up with any, any tap on any input on the goggle and it will boot up in like three seconds. So I usually don't turn the goggle off when I'm flying for, for a flying session. I, I will just double tap to put the goggle to sleep and then I'll press any button to wake it up and it's ready to go in three seconds or so. Very helpful. So I hope that that was helpful. This is the way that I configure my goggle and I, I, I quite like it versus the default. I, I like that the goggle boots up directly into the last video, the input that I was using. And I like that I can save a lot of battery life by using the sleep function. Let me know what settings that you use in the comments below. I'm curious how you've decided to customize the goggle. With that, bye. Thank <laughs> you.
The unsplice never gains it. A whole point in the one. Ferrari forces is great. A whole twelve nine. John E. Flight of Phoenix. Ferrari Force Speed Flight. Twelve six. A whole twelve. John E. Flight of Phoenix. Ferrari the Speed Flight. Two twelve five. A whole the team two. John one one twelve seven. Ferrari the team 2. Q12A. 